Well, a few years ago, the tiny house movement started to take off, and now it's anything but tiny. One of the hurdles continues to be finding a home for these homes. It seems like there's a bunch of these shows on cable mm -hmm. TV. You can't put a tiny house just anywhere. Tonight, Amy Hocker takes us to a little-known spot in Minnesota where they're rolling out the welcome mat for tiny home owners. On a serene stretch of land in the middle of Minnesota. It's starting to get a little greener and the birds are starting to come back. Nature lovers Bill and Brenda Campbell patiently wait. You can hear them. For a few more birds of a feather. The right people show up at the right time. It's a modern day version of if you build it, they will come. We really don't put boundaries on any of the properties for the village, but uh, you know, just kind of an area. Once a family retreat, the Campbells recently turned their 80 acre property south of Mille Lacs into a private sanctuary of tiny homes. It's a neighborhood with a nod to a simpler, slower time. A lot of people, they, they, they can go all day without touching the ground. I mean, cement, car. I mean, just to be able to ground yourself in the real world, real world. Not the earth. The earth. You know, a lot of people, they, just, they never touch it. The Campbells were there themselves not too long ago, a busy suburban family with bills, careers, and kids. It wasn't until they became empty nesters that they started thinking small. The first house was because she's a writer, and she wanted to stay on the property um, to be in nature and get inspiration for her writing. There's just something so energetically magical about it. Deanna Ryder was the Campbell's friend first, neighbor second. I kept coming up here kind of regularly on weekends and they said if you if you wanted to build something on here you could. Deanna was single at the time building a tiny house for one. A few months into the build she met and married Troy and life blossomed. We we're a family of five and so it's, it's more of a cabin. The floor plan changed from one of the sides being storage to it being two beds <laughs> for the, the older boys. Although they're not living here full time, Deanna and Troy consider this home and their neighbors family. Having other people and their experiences and their stories come along with them, that is just awesome. It just takes it all to the next level. Campbell's tiny town is slowly starting to fill in. It likes to see six to eight homes in all. Next to move in, Scott, who's ready to go off the grid. The birds and, and all the wild animals, and the frogs croaking and everything else that there is. It just seems more natural to, to live like this. This whole area up here is really community space. Because so much of this lifestyle is communal, this shared lodge has become the heart of the sanctuary. Somebody done somebody wrong song. But more importantly, it's a place where a modern family can flock together and enjoy the little things in life. Those are the moments that you really don't have outside of here. You know, it's, it's just beautiful. Amy Hockert, Fox 9. Somebody wrong song. I am fascinated how unique you can make those little homes look and how you can find space. Yeah, you know, for every so little many nook and cranny. Stay it, it would stay in and you know, at least store something. Yeah.